else did Sega put out in 1981? They put out this game. Which I think is, uh... I'm, I hope it's different hardware. <laughs> it's probably the same hardware. Uh, it's a game called... Oh, I, I fucking hate this ad. I fucking hate this flyer. Game called Pulsar. Not Pulsar, but Pulsar. Oh man, Fingers Malloy, he's so cool. So what is, uh... What is Pulsar? <laughs> Why are they fingering Malloy? Let's, uh... Let's check it out. Distributed by Gremlin. So you have to guide the tank through the changing maze and transport the treasure keys to their color match locks. Every round presents the player with a new environment. Score points to earn more fuel by blasting enemy aggressors and by unlocking the locks. Yellow enemy aggressors move along the walls, green travel at random, red bounce and ricochet off the walls, all travel faster and shoot more frequently with each round. Uh, avoid the constantly changing force field walls. The player is destroyed if caught in one. Blast the pulsar target and it breaks into enemy aggressors. Um, double bonus points are unlocked by another. Seven realistic sound effects! Count them! Seven! We're gonna list them all. The heartbeat, the electric sizzle of force field walls, the, the clanging of shifting walls, the blasting sound of the player's fire, the piercing shot of the aggressors, the sound that signals the shift to a new maze, and the exciting clamor of bonus points. I love the exciting clamor of bonus points. I can't get enough. So this is a game I, I can't recall seeing a cabinet of, like, in person. But I want to share, like, one bit of trivia. I forgot to get, like, a, a picture. I forgot to get a picture of it, but, uh... If anybody watched uh, Saved by the Bell, there were, like, three arcade cabinets in the Max. But they, like, covered up the, the marquees to, like, so you couldn't read what the, what the game titles were, but it was, like, pretty easy to tell, like... One of the cabinets was a Mr. Do. The other was a Time Pilot 84. The other one was a pulsar, and I had no I couldn't identify it when I uh when I watched the show. I always like tried to wonder like what the what the fuck that cabinet was. But the marquee matches uh pulsar. So that's probably the most exposure this game ever got. <laughs> so if you ever watch an episode, try to try to find it in the max. Oh the, the music ran out. The ambience actually ran out. We've been using it way too much tonight. I wanted to get a picture of it, but I forgot to... I don't have a... I don't have a streaming service with it. I used to watch Saved by the Bell. I've watched... I've pretty much seen the entire series. <laughs> Should I have admitted to that? Whoa, this this tank is... schmoovin'. I'm so excited. Bump into each key with player... Okay. Wall of text. Shoot defenders to obtain more fuel. If defenders are the same color shot consecutively, their point values doubles. Alright. Ooh, seven realistic sound effects. Okay. So we gotta get the keys at the top. So you wanna you wanna pick them up in order. Oh, get it. Double fuel bonus. Right. That was easy enough. This kind of feels like, uh... Uh... 
kind of has a berserk feel to it, except like, you know, the... Oh, God. The, uh... The walls don't kill you. And the walls actually change. Which is cool. I guess. If you shoot the pulsar, it explodes into enemies. Oh, that guy's in gay baby jail. Oh, he's out. Oh, God. All these enemies are smart. Okay, I need the yellow. Oh, God. These enemies are tricky. Okay, you don't have to... You don't have to re-get the keys, but they... They reappear in random spots. This is like a, it's a roguelike. No, it's not a roguelike. Oh, it shows your current rank at the bottom. That's kind of cool. Were there any extra lives? No, oh, can't check now. Now we need four keys. Red, yellow, blue, green. Ah. Oh, you can just hold the button down. Hmm. This is kind of tricky. Okay, I gotta beat that default score. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm kind of into this. Oh, do we have a, a screenshot? Oh, good work, Dasiati. Yeah, like, I, I always wondered, like, what that cabinet was. Because I could tell one of them was Mr. Do, and then I later was able to figure out, okay, that's, uh... That's Time Pilot 84 on the left. But could never figure out Pulsar. Good stuff. Well, there's your, there's your fun fact of the day. <laughs> Thank you, Dossetti. Yeah, look how fast the tank is. But when enemies fire at you, it's kind of random. It feel, feels like... I'm going to reset. I don't want to take a death there. Yeah, definitely like how zippy the tank is, but it's... The enemies are zippy, too. <laughs> They're really hard to hit. I feel like that kind of, uh... Oh, God! Uh... That makes the game really hard. And it's not like... Man, if this game was Twin Stick... It'd probably be pretty sick. But the fact that you can only fire in one direction... You can't fire diagonally. Like Berserk. Uh, it's tough. It's way harder than it looks. Yes, yeah, a good thing the walls don't kill you, like in Berserk. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, red, yellow, blue. Yeah, like this, this green guy's like actively avoiding my shots. The enemy shots are so fast, too. Like, the enemy shots are really... The enemy shots are tough to react to, and you don't know when they're going to fire, either. Or at least I can't... I can't really tell. Uh. Ah. Also, enemies don't kill you on collision, which is kind of surprising. The shifting walls can crush you. Yeah, that was uh, that was mentioned on the player. All right, I didn't, I haven't gotten past.
acid stage yet. I think four is the max for number of keys. Oh, I picked up the blue key. Okay, whatever. I don't get the double bonus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! And enemies don't kill you on collision. That's, like, surprisingly fair. Hmm. One more try. Ah, I picked up the wrong key. Here, the double bonus. Oh god. He's doing it again. And the fact that the uh, the maze keeps changing, like, really keeps you on your toes, too. So there's there's no patterns to this game. I kind of appreciate that. I don't like, uh... I don't like arcade games that are, like, way too pattern-heavy. Because then people get really weird about, uh, about patterns. No, don't watch my pattern, bro. get more fuel if I shot the pulsar and destroyed the enemies, but, eh. Kill some of those. <laughs> Woo. Shit. Yeah. Oh, the enemies come back on death. Something I wouldn't. But whatever keys you picked up are already in the door. getting screwed over on on later levels by like by shit like this you just don't you run out of fuel like trying to deal with the uh, with the maze fucking you over nice i'm out okay so i think four keys is the max yeah. Oh, the maze is shifting faster now. Feels like the enemies are shooting more, too. Oh, yeah, they're definitely firing more. Alright, should just get the key and get out. Fuck. It's getting intense. Oh, there's five, actually. Shit. It's not four doors, it's five. Okay. Any more fuel? Fuck. It's hard. Okay. Oh my god.
Hmm. Well, I got the high score. I wanted to clear that stage, though. Uh, what is the the high score for this unmarked? John McAllister with 116,600. Good lord. Freaking Johnny Mac. I may need to watch that. I, I kind of want to see, like, uh, how crazy this gets, or if there's, like, any, any good strats. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into this. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's not as good as Strategy X. But that was a different type of, type of game. But I kind of like this. I think it's all right. Oh, it was a fun spot tourney. Does Galloping Ghost even have one of these? I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of curious to see, like... Uh, what this game becomes at, like, higher levels. It probably maxes out at difficulty somewhere. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do a... Outrageously rare. Yeah, I don't know how many uh, how many cabinets are still around. I wonder what happened to the cabinet that was on Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Probably threw it in a dumpster. Damn, a lot of support for four, huh? Damn, good shit, Sega. I mean, I guess just the fact that uh, players, or, well, yeah, I say players, but I mean uh, uh, aliens disguised as humans like John McAllister can break 100,000, then you can actually play the game for a while, so it's not like it gets impossibly difficult. Although I don't think it gives any extra lives, so... Definitely a challenge to stay alive. Also, I don't know how... How much the scoring rate increases as you play? All things to look into. I just wish it controlled a little better, or if it was like a, a twin stick game. Where you could uh, fire in different directions while you move. But anyway, 76% of chat voted this a 4. I'll go with it. I could see myself playing more of this. I could have seen myself playing a bit of it in 1981 if I was uh, young enough to know what the hell an arc or old enough to know what the hell an arcade game was. Pretty good, good job, Sega. Turns out you m wait no, 005 stayed on one screen too, but it was it was kind of uh, kind of jank. Yeah, I just, uh, just stick to one screen. Yeah, the sound design was pretty neat, too. 